on August 9th. On August 9th. On August 9th. August 9th, 2014. Shot multiple times. That stream of blood literally going down the street to like lay in the street for four hours. The community came into the street and didn't leave. Initially, the response to Ferguson was a wake-up call. I think Ferguson shined a light. How does race affect St. Louis? Incessantly, constantly, every layer. What we have today is exactly what St. Louis has built. The system is designed to produce exactly what we have. I don't remember a single time having a conversation about race. I was never really asked to think of myself as white. The movement demanded a different kind of conversation. The challenge was to undo the history of all that had come before us. Today, every candidate for major elective office in St. Louis has to talk about racial equity and systemic racism. We are seeing major corporations in St. Louis making commitments to racial equity and anti-racism. We have begun the work of equity awareness, but how do we move towards implementation? There's a lot more at stake. But you know, it's real easy to go back to sleep. This isn't just a diversity and inclusion class. This is what do we do institutionally? We have to unlearn and we have to take those bold steps to do the scary thing, which is heal and face our issues. Any solutions to St. Louis must come from St. Louis. I think policy is still a really huge barrier to racial equity in our region. The only way that we make effective change is with the people who are affected. The region cannot be better off in any sustainable way if you do not eliminate these inequalities that we have. The political will is still not there to move the needle forward. What really stands in St. Louis's way is our inability to believe that we can and that we are sufficient and that we have enough. I think it could be a moment where people understand the power of disruption, the amount that needs to be done to mitigate what was intentionally put in place, I often think is bigger than what we can imagine. What is it going to take to do this work for 40 more years? And I think I've gotten too old to be optimistic but I remain hopeful. The thing we call Ferguson is not over. And so the work very much continues.